these what I'm having for dinner some collard greens mustard greens I got some bacon I'm gonna fry a little bit of bacon I'm gonna throw it up in here um I'm waiting for my birthday to really cook a lot of good greens I'm gonna throw the can of greens up in there to go with this to give it a little good spice and everything because you know it's spice up in this can there I call these some sweet cut yams and that's what I'm gonna have some uh, jiffy cornbread mix some corn I do have me my yellow and red and green bear pepper I got a little bit of seasoning but right over there neck right over here I have a whole bunch of seasoning if I need any more seasoning for my food over here on the stove this is my beef ribs. I do got barbecue sauce. The ribs, I'm going to let them cook, 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 cook. Till they get tender. And real good and bitey in them. They beef, and that's the way I boil them. I cook them. I learned this from my family, my granny, my auntie, my mama, and other people. It's good to boil some of that food and put that flavor up in there. And then I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm going to add more water to it. I'm going to turn it down let it cook a little bit slower. Matter of fact, let's turn it down now. Because I'm going to sit down and look at some videos. So I'm going to turn it down and I'm going to add a little bit more water to it. And um, like I said, we're going to have some greens and I'm going to cut them some um, bacon up. And I'm going to have a little corn on the side and some sweet um yams and a can of mustard greens and i got some jiffy cornbread and i got uh all three um bear peppers a little bit of season so that's what's going to be going on in my kitchen for today and then i show you <laughs> the results after oh i do have some ginger ale and these are some things i picked up from the store earlier at uh, grocery outlet and some things in my freezer let's go to my freezer and some things i picked up in my freezer um i did pick this here up some hamburger meat for for hamburgers I remember back in the days, we had light bread. I called it, you know, this bread right here. I called it light bread. My grandmother didn't call it light bread. They didn't call it by the name of the bread. They said, you want some light bread for your hamburger? I said, yeah, grandma. And so I just got the patties already ready. I don't have to worry about all that other juice. I'm going to season them, turn them on over each other. When we ready for a hamburger. So, I'm going to take them out of here. I'm going to take these out of here and put them in different bags. So, if, when you're ready for it, you're, you don't have to t pull the whole thing out and defrost it. So, I will be um, putting these in some sandwich bags. But right now, I'm going to sit down because I just came back from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby was closed. Home, home Goods was open. So, that was a you know a ride and plus it's real hot it's almost 100 degrees out there in Dublin so this is what I'm doing getting my dinner together my Sunday dinner thank the Lord putting some food on up on our table and I got some barbecue sauce and all that other good stuff and this is my dinner for tonight God bless each one of you be safe please subscribe share my videos Push describe, hit that bell, and push thumbs up. One love.